I remember I was six years old and we had this discussion with my brother sister. And I love those conversations. I was six, seven years old. We were talking about, I was asking him, the three of us lying down outside at night uh, on one big bed, all three of us looking into the sky, looking at the stars. This is a long time ago. And then I'm asking him, I'm six years old, and my brother and sisters, they were five, five and ten years older than me. And I would say, well, what's, what's beyond this? How far does it go? And I remember my sister said, it's infinite. It keeps going. I said, well, where did it start? Who started it? And where does it end? And they were telling me that there is no start and there is no end. It just keeps going. But my mind could not understand it. The mind can't get it because it's a three-dimensional mind. There's always a beginning in it and it's an end. It, it simply doesn't have the ability to comprehend infinite. So years after, when I started to get a glimpse of it, of entering into the fifth dimensional consciousness and getting glimpses of a unified field, a field. Just imagine you're in a just solid field of just flowers or grass. You can imagine that. Or imagine it's only ocean. You're in it's blue turquoise water and that's all there is there is no beach and there is no sky it's just blue turquoise flat beautiful water and nothing else now you have nothing to compare it against because that's the only thing there is the fifth dimensional consciousness entering into a unified field of love, a unified field of nothingness, oneness. Again, these are words, so I'm going to try to put it in different angles. So maybe, you know, you get it, you get it or it clicks for you, right? I, I will use different examples because they're pointers. You're pointing out at something which is unexplainable. You cannot explain it because language is limited and in, in explaining this uh, translation gets lost. But you enter into a unified field of love, a unified field of the being, and that's all there is. And there's no duality in it. It simply is. And there's only one. There's one presence. So your consciousness, your awareness starts to expand and opening up from a limited perspective and an expansion and as it's opening up, opening up, opening up, it's like, wow, I mean, this thing is, keeps going from every direction, from up and down, left and right. It keeps going and going and going. And by entering into it, something has to give. Something has to give by entering into that. And that is like you have this glass of water. And, and the water wants to join, rejoin the ocean. It wants to go back into the ocean. So you're pouring it into the ocean. 
And once it's poured all the way into the ocean, you cannot find it anymore. You cannot find this much water. It's impossible. It's gone. It's the ocean now. So it loses that individuality or that sense of individuality. It loses its sense of separation into the oneness. Now it's the one. And that's what happened and happens to anyone who reached full realization, full awakening. Any human being on this planet that they realize themselves. They came to an awakening, a full realization. Their body's still here. Their character is still here. They still have physical needs. They still, t you know, it's not like they came to a full realization and now they're stupor and they're like a zombie. No, they continue living their lives, but that identification of the separation is, is lost. So that in that water inside them, that thing that appeared to be a separate entity, that one has merged into the, the one consciousness. Yet you may still see the glass because the guy is not dead. He's walking around. He's alive. But from the perspective of an outsider, it still appears that it's separated. There's an appearance of separation. But the dude who was in there, its consciousness merged into the one. It merged into the fifth dimension. So it no longer, is, no longer has that identity. Even though on the outside, it appears to have that identity. It looks like it to everybody else. But inside it, it doesn't have that identity anymore. It's the identity identity of the one forgive me somebody called me and then I lost my Facebook um, just give me one moment please I need to fix this because we lost our broadcast well, welcome to the 5d Academy of Heart uh -huh. Just hang in there for a second, please. So, but because we simultaneously, we are multidimensional beings, we're not these in your mind, naturally, you think and you're experienced and that is, you're not to be blamed for it. So don't blame yourself for this because this is your experience. And your experience is to be separated. Everything else is, it indicates that. Everything around you supports this idea that you are someone, you're a person, that you are separated from everything else. 